Mm. It's Catherine. No matter how hard I try, I can never properly pronounce the name Mick Huckanor. <laughs> <laughs> David Steve. <laughs> well, um, you seem to pronounce it perfectly there. I mean, it's similar to Mick Hucknall, <laughs> but I'm... We're going to need an R in it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I would, I would pronounce Mick Hucknall as Mick Hucknall. And Mick Hucknall, I pronounce as Mick Hucknall. <laughs> and that's the problem. So, so Simply Red singer. So who's the singer with Simply Red? Mick Hucknall. <laughs> you can say Mick Hucknall, but not when you mean Mick Hucknall. That's right, yeah. So <laughs> what do you have to mean in order to say Mick Hucknall? Mick Hucknall. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and who is Mick Hucknall? I've never met. <laughs> It's not a name one needs to say, unlike no. Mick well, Hucknall. To, well, when I say Mick Hucknall, Mick Hucknall, I mean Mick Hucknall, but um, I've, I've never met a Mick Hucknall. Which but you, there, I would spell there you like said when you say Mick, Mick Hucknall, Hucknall, you mean Mick Hucknall. That's right. But when it's you say can... Mick Hucknall, you mean Mick Hucknall. So what you were saying then is, when you say Mick Hucknall, you mean Mick Hucknall, which means you can say Mick Hucknall to mean Mick Hucknall. <laughs> so you're fine. It's a lie. <laughs> But when I say Mick Hucknall to you, yeah. pronouncing it correctly, I'm imagining it is spelt like Mick Hucknall. <laughs> <laughs> but in order, to, in order, to... order... <laughs> and there are the words you get completely. Uh, uh, there's things wrong. like spon spontaneous. I know I'm not pronouncing that in the correct way. Um, what are you actually trying to pronounce there? <laughs> <laughs> if something's a spontaneous event. <laughs> or, or spontaneous combustion. Why don't you try and say spontaneous and then you can explain to Gabby what you mean by spontaneous? <laughs> no, I'm spontaneous. <laughs> <laughs> Were you relieved when Simply Red disbanded and stopped releasing albums? <laughs> I was relieved, and you know, but the, the, you know, the, it's a problem as an actress when you have to sort of read scripts and, and you, you can't sort of have to have, have them rewritten. You could yeah. concentrate on working in sort of classical theatre before, because <laughs> I don't think Shakespeare mentions Mick Hucknall more, more than a couple of times. A script yeah. without really his tip. name in it, though, is simply read. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, David? Uh, what do you think? I, I think it has a ring of truth. I just can't imagine you having to say Mick Hucknall that often. What do you think, Gabby? She says Mick Hucknell so beautifully. Mm. I, I think you're through it, and it's great that you could share it tonight, but I think <laughs> it's only in honour of Catherine's full recovery we have to say that it's a lie. Mm. Oh, OK. Uh, Catherine, truth or lie? <laughs> that was, in fact, uh, a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I was so sure that Wombles were real, I used one as an example of a mammal in a GCSE biology exam. <laughs> <laughs> How could it be true? How could it be true? Lee? But which one did you draw? What did he look like? I didn't draw anything that wasn't in the question. Lee. Okay, you took him the answer. It was given an example of a mammal. Oh, you used it, just wrote it down. I gave, I gave, th it was give three examples of mammals and I said bear, because that's an obvious one. Yeah. Whale, bit less obvious, uh. clever. And Womble was my third example. How old, how old, how old were you at the time? Uh, uh, 15. What are you looking you... at David for? Let's <laughs> 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 you... remind ourselves what the Wombles looked like. Uh, we've got Uncle Bulgaria. <laughs> yeah. He was like the Don Corleone of the, uh, <laughs> of the Womble family. What grade did you get then? A. You got A's, even though you think Wombles are mammal. I should, I should make it clear that I didn't think the children's programme was a documentary. <laughs> I thought the children's programme, that Womble, was based on a real mammal. So for, ex for example, a bear is a real mammal, but, but, but Yogi is Bear isn't a Thank fair you. representation <laughs> of life. You're telling me for a GCSE? At age 50, the question was, give three examples of a mammal. Look, Lee, this <laughs> isn't the end of a game show. It's not like, and this one's for the GCSE. <laughs> <laughs> there were lots of questions. But surely the question in a GCSE at 50 wouldn't be, give us an example of three mammals. It's a bit of a basic question. What? Why do you think that is so easy? Well, it's quite, it's quite you are such an intellectual <laughs> snob. <Because> <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm sorry, you could have said cat, 
dog. That's what. Any number. Are you, are of you things. stuck for the third one? <laughs> <laughs> that dog. <laughs> You say you could say that you knew that they were fictional, but but based on a real yes. animal called the Womble. I thought that maybe it was based on the fact that in yeah. real life they made their burrows from like condoms oh, you know, and. Yeah, yeah. and, and <laughs> reality, of course, most creatures perish because of litter, things that the everyday folk leave behind. <laughs> so in a way, the Wombles did a lot of bad. Are you saying <laughs> that the Wombles they, message they encouraged exist. people to litter? Yes. And people sort of said, well, maybe I was going to throw this away properly, but maybe the Wombles can make an extension out of it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, people do dress dogs up like that these days, and so you, you can be sure. Well, they're, they're possibly just trained uh, Wombles. Yeah. <laughs> but these, in the, in the story, the Wombles were... That wasn't just poor old bewildered Womble, but someone's put some glasses on him. Mm. He's put his own glasses. He's gone to the Womble optician <laughs> and said, could you fashion me some reading glasses out of some stuff that everyday folk have left around? And, and they've done that. Right. That, that's actually not true. He found the glasses. He found, every, they found, he found the clothes. He found glasses of exactly the right prescription. No, no, possibly. <laughs> no, no, possibly. There was no evidence that it was it's, the right prescription. on Wimbledon Common. <laughs> and immediately the Wombles are on him. <laughs> Taking everything. He's his medals, his gold watch, his glasses, his shoes, and there he is naked. <laughs> so, like, no dignity. No dignity if the Wombles are around. It's a brilliant programme. <laughs> What do we think, Bill? I think it would be an in insult to Catherine's intelligence to believe that she wrote that down in an exam. I don't believe it. You don't? You see, I think... Go on, what do you think, Lou? No, I don't believe it. Why? No. Because I don't, because I think that she seems better educated than that. I mean, I got kicked out of school at 15 and... Why? Because I wasn't very educated and I didn't really know anything. I couldn't spell or read. I was doing high kicks and backflips all the time. They got bored of me. <laughs> what did you do uh, when you were expelled? Did you just run out into the street, yeah. singing and dancing yeah. and going, yeah. I don't need this? Yeah. Yeah. I don't need this, I don't want this, I can't spell, I can't do what? Head roll, head roll, head roll. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Can I just say? <laughs> I would say that in the history of this programme, we have never had two <laughs> such opposing... ..as <laughs> <laughs> Bill and Luke. Well, there we are. Um, <laughs> it, it, it's time, Lee, to time. Uh, make a decision. Which way are you going to go, Lee? OK, well, I'll go with my team and say that it's not true. Even though my lie. gut is screaming it's true, I will go with my team and say it's a lie. OK. Catherine, is it a lie or is it true? It is, in fact, true. Oh. <laughs> Me and my husband have a fake laugh that we do at parties to signal when it's time to leave. Oh, fantastic. Lee, <laughs> that... fake laughs, what do you know about those? Well, I know she's been doing it quite a lot tonight. <laughs> <laughs> have to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Do that again. <laughs> Is that it? What about just saying, can we leave now, darling? <laughs> that was, can we leave now, darling? <laughs> So just put us through this scenario, then. You're both having the same conversation at the party with, with somebody else. And when one of us wants to go home, um, we will just laugh in a certain way. And does your like, husband do the same laugh as you, or has he got his own no, version? No, he's got his own version. His laugh? Which is deeper than mine. Same yeah, thing, like, but deeper? Yes. Yeah, so like, for instance? Do his laugh. Sort of... <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of, um... <laughs> <laughs> Give me your laugh again, because I didn't quite hear okay. it. This is Catherine's laugh. Yeah. <laughs> and now the husband's laugh? Well, I'm not so good at doing that, which, uh, you know... Do the husband's laugh. I, <laughs> I feel like you're mocking me. No, I'm threatening you. <laughs> <laughs> and your laugh again? <laughs> and then his laugh? <laughs> Okay. What was your laugh like again? <laughs> and his laugh? <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time you did it? Yes. I I think we did it about two weeks ago at um Who are you talking to? <laughs> this I'd rather this, not say on this television. Is it a television yeah. person? Is it someone famous? <laughs> no. Well but... still, but it's just no, it's not someone famous, it's someone who loves being insulted on television. <laughs> So, Lee, let's go for a guess. Should we say it's true? Is that what we're saying? I, I think that, but I'm going with you. You're trusting me, aren't you? I'll All trust right. you. Trust. I don't know why, but I will. 
Uh, go on, true. You're saying true. OK, Catherine, truth or lie? It is, in fact, a lie. Oh! <laughs> Catherine and her husband don't have a fake laugh that they do at parties to signal when it's time to leave. And when they're bored stiff at a party, they say, thanks for having us, Rob, but we'd better make a move. <laughs> so please welcome this week's special guest. It's Mark. <laughs> right, uh, we'll start with you, David O'Doherty. What is Mark to you? Well, this is Mark. And together, we started a lost animals detective agency. <laughs> so there we have it. David's animal detective. Uh, what about you, Catherine? What's your connection to Mark? Uh, this is Mark. He is my recycling man. And last year, he put a note through my door saying he thought we were eating too many takeaways. <laughs> All right, Catherine's a healthy eating recycling man. Uh, David Mitchell, your relationship with Mark? Uh, this is Mark. He saved me from choking in Argos after <laughs> I... <laughs> David, David, you haven't even heard of Argos. <laughs> <laughs> he saved me from choking in Argos <laughs> after I swallowed one of their little pens. <laughs> Precisely what is implausible about that? <laughs> <laughs> so there we have it. David O'Doherty's private eye for pets, Catherine's judgmental bin man, or David's high street hero. Lee's team, where to begin? Well, um, well, let's start with Catherine. How many takeaways were you eating? Chinese, Thai and pizzas. Yeah, that's the first night. What about In the second night? <laughs> <laughs> Indians. I wasn't having takeaways every night. This is why I personally think it was a very rude thing to do. I mean, apart from the fact that it's none of this man's business, who I don't know, he's basically my staff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I how, don't, how, how often I don't does know your him. staff turn up to take away the refuge? God, I don't... My husband deals with all, all the rubbish and stuff. Yeah, I don't quite know what that means. I mean, he doesn't deal with bucking them, does he? They just come every week. Or every two. the rubbish out, Lee? <laughs> you still might know how often they come. I accept that, but you said your husband deals with it, whatever that means. It means he's the one. I, and in, in my family, your wife Mrs Bryden is happy for me to put the rubbish out. I do it really? every Thursday night. Do you take night? a little stepladder out with you? And... Yes. <laughs> I, I can't reach the top of the wheelie bin, so... Uh, or sometimes I just, just take a run at it. <laughs> So... <laughs> <laughs> Just gaining down on you! <laughs> and then, when you think it's all over the place, the little mammals turn up to clear all the rubbish. <laughs> Give us a rough average over two weeks. At th that time, how many takeaways were you eating? Every other night, I think. So that's what? That's, that's normal to me, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> He writes a note and it says... It said, I remember it beginning with, um, I hope you don't think this is rude, and... You, you did. Know, it is rude, yeah. and it was rude. I don't um, know this is but rude, but... I, I'm, I, I wonder if you've considered that you may be eating too many takeaways. Yours, Mark. So stand seven. up. S what? Stand up. I am standing up. No. <laughs> <laughs> All them takeaways, let's have a look That's at you. That's my mic pack. I'm going to go and have a quick feel. Oh my God. I'm allowed to, I'm gay. <laughs> if it turns out this whole facade has been a lie, Louis. <laughs> That's right, I'm gay. <laughs> Can I just say, Catherine, I'm gay? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, can, I can tell you, she doesn't feel like she's eaten a lot of takeaways. Thank she's God firm that's, and tiny. Well, thank God that was the answer, cos it would have been awful if it had gone back off. She's telling the truth. <laughs> no, she's tight. She stinks of curry. <laughs> She's tight and toned. <laughs> Lee, Lee, what about, what about your other suspects? Uh, David O'Doherty. Hello. Hi. <laughs> you were running a detective agency for lost animals, <laughs> is that correct? Well, we started off just as a detective agency, generally. <laughs> and then these lost animals started bringing you up, saying, can you find my owner for me? <laughs> no. What? <laughs> It's the mid-80s in Dublin. There's a lot of crime. And we were eight or nine, and we decided we were going to do something about the crime. So you start off as detective agency, and it, and it doesn't go so well. So you think you need to be a bit more niche. We weren't... We, were, we just weren't getting the caseload. <laughs> we were getting nothing. Did you recover any lost animals? 
Well, the, um, in the window of the local shop, there seemed to be some people uh, had lost uh, cats and dogs. So, and some of them were offering cash rewards. It was decided that we would ring up one of these people. And uh, as I had the most mature voice of the agency, uh, <laughs> the, I, I had to speak to the lady. And what would you say? Uh, Hello, is that Mrs. Whitaker? And she would go, yes. And I'd say, and did you lose a cat called Whiskers recently? And she'd go, oh yes, oh yes. And I'd go, well, you're in luck, because my eight-year-old friend and I have set up a pet-finding detective agency. <laughs> We're going to take on your case. <laughs> and did you have any results? Any good results? Did you ever find an animal, ever? No. <laughs> What, what about uh, the, the other David, as he's now known? Oh, Mr. we're actually Mitchell. considering that, are we? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what were you buying in Argos? A uh, kettle. <laughs> Talk me through the process of how it worked yeah. when you went to Argos. <laughs> <laughs> I walked through the door and I looked through the catalogue mm -hmm. to find the kettle. Good stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What type of kettle? Uh, did you go for, a, a, for boiling water. <laughs> <laughs> so you've seen the kettle, you've, and then what? What happens next? Uh, I, well, I, I filled in. The, I checked on the little keypad that they had it in in Ooh. stock. Ooh. You, I'll tell you what. You are down with yeah. the kids. <laughs> this uh, the pen. Yes. That you swallowed. How long was it? It was sort of about that long, I think. And you choked. Marvellous. Absolutely marvellous. Never has such a clean sentence <laughs> meant so much. <laughs> Why did you put it in your mouth? I, I was sort of chewing the end of it, sort of thinking. Trying to look working I was, class. I, I sneezed. <laughs> you sneezed? <laughs> The way you do when you sneeze and suck in at the same time, yeah? And what, what else? You had a back, a back draft effect, <laughs> did you? And it went, ho, straight in. So you sneeze. In order, in, or, in order, to, I involuntarily inhaled before the, the exhalation. Are you like that Hoover, man? <laughs> did, that, did everything implode into your god? Yeah. That's, That's my child! So Marx ran up to you. Yeah. Has he give you the Heimlich manoeuvre? No. He just sort of patted me hard on the back a few times. Right. Oh, um, we need an answer. I can't see Mr. Mitchell in Argos. I think it could be true his story because he looks quite Irish, quite fair, isn't he? And he looks Irish. Yeah, I think he looks Irish. So what are you going to say then, Lee? Should we say David O'Doherty? Yeah. I've told yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you yeah, don't O'Doherty. blame me. That's all I'm saying. We're going to go David O'Doherty. Saying David O'Doherty. Okay, uh, Mark. Would you now please reveal your true identity? David O'Doherty and I ran a pet detective. Oh, David. <laughs> yes, it's uh, absolutely true. The, you had a, a detective agency. I was uh, at home rooting around, and I, we made business cards. And the uh, <laughs> caption at the bottom is, we handle everything. <laughs> You're the first detective. Yeah. And Mark is... He's, a, he's out of notes. Down as notes. <laughs> notes. So you've reduced him to an inanimate... <laughs> now. What a man. Thank you very much, Mark.